Music is a universal language. All people love to listen to music, and they all have different tastes. The artist can be a solo, duo, trio, group, band, or a full orchestra. We can all agree that each one of them has their own unique personality. Today, we are going to look at the story of an English band called The Specials. The Specials, often known as The Special Echo, are a Coventry-based English two-tone and ska revival band that formed in 1977. Following some early lineup changes, the group's first consistent configuration included vocalist Terry Hall and Neville Staple, Linville Golding, and Roddy Radiation as the guitarist, Horace Panter on bass, Jerry Dammers on keyboards, John Bradbury as the drummer, and Dick Cuffeld and Rico Rodriguez on trumpet. The band was formerly known as the Automatics, then as the Coventry Automatics. The new lineup then changed the band name to be the Specials Echo. According to Dammers, anti-racism was inherent in the Specials' inception, as the band was created with the objective of integrating black and white people. Dammers created the two-tone records label and released the band's debut song Gangsters, a rearrangement of Prince Buster's Al Capone in 1979, shortly after drummer Hutchinson departed the band to be replaced by John Bradbury. That summer, the song was a top 10 hit. Despite controversy about the song's lyrics, which reference teen pregnancy and promote contraception, the EP Too Much Too Young was a number one hit in the UK singles chart in 1980. In 1981, the recession-themed single Ghost Town reached number one as well in the United Kingdom. Returning to the Specials moniker, the band's second album, More Specials, was not as commercially successful and was recorded during a period of turmoil in the band, according to Hall. However, after their Top of the Pops performance of the song, Staple, Hall, and Golding announced their departure from the band. The three quickly departed the band to establish Fun Boy 3. In 1984, the new lineup released their first full-length album, In the Studio. The band was now officially a sextet, with Dakar, Campbell, Bradbury, Dammers, Shipley, and new bassist Gary McManus. In the Studio was less successful both critically and commercially than prior attempts, while the 1984 song Free Nelson Mandela reached number 9 in the United Kingdom. Dammers then left the band and went into political activism, Bradbury, Golding, Panter, and Staple formed Special Beat with members of the Beat in 1990, performing music from both bands as well as other ska and two-tone classics. The band traveled and released multiple live records during the 1990s despite many lineup changes. The band reformed in 1993 and has since performed and recorded with various lineups. Desmond Decker and The Specials were credited on the album, which was released by Trojan Records as King of Kings. The album's release with Dismant Decker generated some interest for the band, leading to an approach from a Japanese promoter to organize a tour. The current lineup toured extensively and recorded two studio albums, Today's Specials, a compilation of largely reggae and ska covers published in 1996, and Guilty Till Proved Innocent, a collection of original songs released in 1998. In support of both albums, the band went on a lengthy tour. The earlier Trojan recordings, Skinhead Girl in 2000 and Conquering Ruler in 2001 would be the band's final for quite some time. In 2008, Hall said that the specials might reform for a tour and maybe some recording in the autumn of 2008. By December 2008, the band had planned 2009 tour dates to commemorate their 30th anniversary, albeit founding member Dammers would not be joining them. More or less the specials live was released in August 2012 showcasing the best of the greatest performances from their 2011 European tour. Drummer John Bradbury passed away on December 28, 2015, at the age of 62. On October 29, 2018, the Specials planned a 2019 UK tour to match with the release of their new album, Encore. Horace Panter announced on July 2021, a new album named Protest, Songs 1924-2012 which was published on August 23, 2021. Hannah Hu, a vocalist, joined the group for their 2021 tour and also sang on the new album. Hall died on December 19, 2022 at the age of 63 after an illness that was later determined to be pancreatic cancer. Before Hall's condition worsened, they intended to make a new record in the United States. Songs are the words or sounds that are expressed in time by musical instruments, they express the feeling and emotions of the people, whether it is love, sadness, happiness, excitement, and so on. 
70s band of music, such as Eagles, Blondie, and Ramones might have given great music influence. The Specials is also one of the 70s band of music that had written a history in the music industry. What do you think of The Specials? Let us know your opinions in the comments. Don't forget to give us thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our channel if you want to know more about famous stars in action. Thanks for watching.